don't know if you can quite see it there. there there's a curvature at the edge as the water clings to the edge of the glass. Um, in the waterways exhibit, kids use these very colorful plastic balls to experiment with the way water rushes and gushes. The boy quickly got up. He could not believe his eyes. There was heavy rain pounding against the windows of their van. Yeah, you know, it's an experience where uh, they have a lot of fun, they get to experiment, um, and they get a little bit wet too, which of course is a lot of fun. We can do so much more, like turning off faucets while brushing teeth, or just taking shorter showers. And using the funnel, we can also direct the energy of the falling water exactly where we want it, so we get the most energy out of it. This is my chance to finally get the secret science books. <laughs> Putting a little bit of food coloring in there might help us see it as well. There has to be a way out of this. Come on, Maxie, let's put our brains together. How can we get power again? We need to come up with something now. There we go. See, it's starting to look like a wheel. And convert it into spinning energy, rotational energy. But you see, eventually, it comes to a stable point. Um, and in fact, the day after Christmas, we'll be opening um, Box City, which is an area where um, we just put out cardboard boxes, paper, and allow children's creativity to take over. That's called capillary action, and it's how our bodies, it help, that helps our bodies to get blood all the way throughout our circulatory system. It draws the balls down here, so as this ball comes flying in and lands in there, it drops right down through the drain in the bottom. And using the electricity generated by that turning motor, they'll be able to charge their cell phones, 